our education, our relationships, our freedom, and the certainty we thought we had. Our hopes have been squeezed out by months of a lockdown. What could be worse than COVID? Come with me to the year 33 AD, where we remember another group of people that had lost all hope. They'd given up everything to follow him. He'd offer them the answers to life. He claimed to be God's son, but he'd been crucified on a Roman cross. The man who healed the sick, made the blind see, and even the dead rise, now himself lay lifeless, sealed behind a stone and guarded by Roman soldiers. Hope had died. But now, with a daily rise in numbers vaccinated and a daily fall in loved ones dying, our hope is on the rise. The end of Zoom, that long-awaited hug, the overdue holiday and normal are just over the horizon. Just take yourself to the 21st of June. Lockdown lifted, COVID under control, loneliness, depression, fear, uncertainty and death all behind us. The truth is, our deepest problem isn't COVID. So our deepest hope can't be in the lifting of lockdown. The problem is sin. And the hope that we need is Jesus. The depression, isolation, fear and death we've grown sadly familiar with began when the perfect world God made was broken by sin. What does that mean? Knowing the right way but choosing the wrong? Putting selfish happiness over others' good? Breaking God's perfect law by stealing, lying and worshipping anything but God? Just as Covid brings separation between families, sin puts distance between us and our loving God. But Jesus came as God's vaccine to a world lost in sin. Jesus, the Son of God, fully man and fully God. Only he can fix our separation from God. He became infected with all our sin when he died on the cross. Because of love, he died in our place. He is the antibody to sin. He killed death. Then, like a vaccine passing a clinical trial, Jesus rose again, proving that receiving him is enough to save us from sin's punishment. Death is our oldest enemy, but because Jesus beat it for us, we can face it with hope. I can't wait for the day when lockdown is lifted, but I know the liberation and joy that day promises is just a taster of a life lived in relationship with God. This Easter, we want you to know lasting hope, the kind we really need, and it's only found in Jesus. So don't hang on till the 21st of June. New life can start today, not just by being religious, but by receiving Jesus' death and resurrection in your place and following him. He works on our hearts from the inside out. He is the vaccine that stood the test of time and there's no need for a booster. He is real, he's good and he's trustworthy. Will you put your hope in him today? Thank you.